History mixes with controversy tonight as the city of Sacramento lights up for a first of its kind pot festival. Sacramento to offer the first ever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The two day event featuring some big name music acts and all things cannabis is going on right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Janes. And I'm Tony Lopez. More than 15,000 people are expected to pour through the gates of Cal Expo. Let's go out live to CBS 13's Drew Belay to see how this history making night is playing out. Drew? Well, you might be able to still hear the concert is still going on and the smell hits you right when you walk through the gates. It's a celebration of all things cannabis here at Cal Expo and this event almost didn't happen. The organizers got approval just earlier this week. Freedom, baby, freedom! For the first time, a legal permit is issued to the High Times Cannabis Cup, allowing anyone over 21 to buy marijuana. It's a phenomenal step in the right direction. And smoke it openly. This is heaven. It's heaven. This is the first time that a, a state, a, a sitting body elected by the people has ever given a permit for an event like this. Matt Stang with High Time says all vendors are licensed, security is tight, and they don't expect any problems. A lot of people are always nervous when the first event happens because they don't know what to expect. While the festival may be city and state legal, marijuana is a banned substance, according to the federal government. All the vendors are also having to deal with federal restrictions. The main one, all transactions must be done in cash. Another obstacle for organizers, a girls volleyball tournament happening at Cal Expo this same weekend. Stang says the two events will be completely separate. We specifically chose this location to be the furthest place away from the volleyball tournament. Yeah, coming straight for you. The celebration of cannabis is lit. I think this is wonderful. And a history making moment is burning in the capital city. Sacramento to offer the first ever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the city also hopes to benefit from this two-day festival. They anticipate making $200,000 in tax revenue, again, from just this two-day event. Now, things start back up tomorrow at noon once the concert here ends tonight, and there'll be acts like Lil Wayne and Lauren Hill tomorrow night. Should be a big crowd once again. A lively bunch tonight on the first ever. Okay, Drew, thanks.